Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create a part like this in Blender. First I want to point out that I don't use Blender on a daily basis, I'm still learning this software. For 3D modeling I use 3D CAD systems, mainly FreeCAD, which is also a fully free software developed on similar principles as Blender. It is mainly in this program that I create 3D models, but I know that there are Blender users who occasionally want to design parts with regular shapes. When it comes to creating such parts in Blender, we can use the CAD Sketcher add-on for this purpose, which can greatly simplify such a task. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now I will start a new project. We will begin by creating a sketch. We have the Sketcher tab and click the Add Sketch button. We select the sketch plane, let's choose the XZ plane, and here we will create the shape of a half profile, based on which we will then create a 3D model by rotating this sketch around a specified axis. I will first create a segment of such a half section. I will create a single line. Okay, right click to finish drawing this line, and right click again to cancel the line drawing command. When it comes to drawing the line, we simply select the command and click the left mouse button to define two points of the line. Now, I would like this line to have a length of 3 mm, so I select this line and choose the distance command. Here, we specify the length of this line. We click on the dimension arrow, and here we click the left mouse button to enter a different value for this dimension. I type 3 press enter and this dimension has been changed. Next I would like this line to lie in a straight line with the origin point of the coordinate system. To do this while holding the shift key I select this point and then select this point and choose the horizontal constraint here to specify that this line lies at the height of the origin point of the coordinate system. Next I select this point, hold shift to select this point, again choose the distance command and here I enter 60 millimeters as the value for this dimension. To change the dimension, we click on the dimension line and here we enter the new dimension value. Okay, we have something like this. Here I clicked on the symbol indicating the Y axis to set up a view like this. Okay. And now I continue drawing this half section. I select line drawing again, and now using this command, I create this shape. But first we do it approximately like this, not focusing on the dimensions. We are simply creating a half section shape. I right click to cancel the line drawing command. First, while holding shift, I select this line and this line OK, I have selected two lines and I choose the equality constraint to specify that these lines are equal to each other. Now I select this line. This line is not horizontal, so I select the line and choose the horizontal constraint to specify that this line should be horizontal. Next, while holding shift, I select these two lines and here I choose the equality constraint. We do the same with these lines. We select these two lines and choose the equality constraint. OK, now we will add dimensions. While holding shift, select this point and this point. Choose the distance command here, click on this line and change this dimension to a vertical dimension. Select vertical and enter 120 millimeters as the value for this dimension. Press Enter. Now select this line, choose the distance command again, and enter 40 millimeters as the value for this dimension. OK. Next, select this line, choose the distance command, and also enter 40 millimeters as the value for this dimension. OK. 
and then select this point. Hold Shift to select the origin point of the coordinate system and select the distance command again. Click on this line and choose the horizontal dimension. Enter 40 millimeters as the value for this dimension. And OK, we have the sketch of the half section, which we will use to create a solid by rotating this half section around a specified axis. Before we exit the sketch, select Convert Type Mesh here and click the Leave Sketch button to exit the sketch. Now, based on what we have created, we will create a 3D model. We go to Modifiers, add a modifier, select Generate here and choose the Screw modifier. Next, we need to specify the axis around which we will add the rotation of this half section. Click on Y here and we have something like this. And now, to smooth this solid a bit, we can increase the number of steps to, for example, 80. The solid is already quite smooth. Here we click in this place to apply this modifier and we have this solid. Next, we will save this solid in STL format. From the File menu, we select Export. And here we choose STL to save it in STL format. Next, we specify the location and name of the file and click Export STL. Based on such a file, we can prepare a program for the 3D printer. For this purpose, we go to the slicer. I will show you this using Bamboo Studio as an example. I select Create New Project here. And here we add the STL file we created in Blender. And now, based on this file, we can prepare a program for the 3D printer and we can print such a model on the 3D printer. As I mentioned at the beginning, I am a beginner user of Blender. An advanced user would definitely design such a part much faster in Blender. However, in my videos I want to show you the complete basics of Blender. These are simple things, but when I started learning Blender for me, it was not so obvious. Therefore, I think that there will be several people who will find these tutorial helpful. We will end here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.